Is this your Jane Doe? Yeah, came in two nights ago. Hasn't come round yet. She's a fighter, though. I've lost plenty with injuries less than hers. Five broken ribs, lung punctured in two places, ruptured spleen. What'd you do, get hit by a truck? Yeah, she left some nightclub with her boyfriend. Yeah, looks like a gang jumped them. Left her lying outside the club. They found him several blocks away. He's in the room three doors down. So, what do you think? 50-50. Come on, doctor. There's a coffee and donut downstairs need your attention. That was one freaky dream. This a uh, hospital? What the hell happened? Oh my god. I'm dead? No, 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 I don't want to be dead. Things were just starting to work out. Lewis and I were just... Oh my god. Lewis. What happened to us? Huh? What the hell are you? A bit short for the Grim Reaper, aren't you? You're not dead, Jennifer. But if you don't be quiet and listen to me, you soon will be. My name is... Well, let's say you can call me Scree. I've been sent to find you, to show you some very important things, and to enlist your assistance. Right. Well, Scree... Glad I'm not dead. But first you better explain how come I'm looking down on myself. She is creeping me out. Your corporeal form, the one still lying there, is very weak, close to death perhaps, but not yet lost. That is only part of you. The other part, your spirit, that's you. I set it free from your body so that we could talk. In fact, now that it's free, you'll find you can travel to places you've never even imagined. Right, so I'm like an astral projection or something? Essentially, yes. So what does that make you? I am but a humble servant to my lady, and to you I'm a friend. Someone you need to trust. Now quickly, you must come with me. We're both vulnerable here. Okay, but only because I'm intrigued. I've never been in astral projection before. Okay, Jennifer. What the hell? My God. What just happened? Where are we? Questions, questions. We're no longer in Mortalis. We've stepped through a rift gate into the Nexus. Still, huh? As I said earlier, your spirit is no longer constrained by flesh. You have left the physical mortal world and now stand in the Nexus, a convergence point for energies drawn from the four realms of oblivion. Sounds like one of Lewis's fantasy novels. This is real, Jennifer. I know you mortals think you're at the heart of everything, but believe me, you're not. Now please try to absorb all of this quickly. There really is no time to waste. Okay, I'm trying. Just one thing, though. No matter where we are, you gotta stop calling me Jennifer. You sound like my stepdad. It's Jen. I am to give you these. They are devices that will help you to learn of your true self. And if my lady is correct, they may afford us some protection. What am I supposed to do with this? It's a vambrace. They fasten around your wrists. Please, it's important that you trust me and just put them on. 
I've just jumped out of my skin, left my body in some hospital, been dragged through a rift gate. Rift gate. Come on, this way. So they got one of these. With the might of chaos and order eternally battling, a balance between them must also be fought for. Here at the heart of the Nexus is where that happens. Drawing in the two primal forces, governing, generating a safe parallel energy, that is the awesome responsibility of Kronos. And awesome's the word for this gadget. Oh! There's someone in the middle of all that. As I said, Jen, Kronos. Jeez, he's looking at me. Perhaps he can hear you, too. Ah, uh, well... I'm sure the guy's doing a great job in there. Uh, on there. Oh my god, Scree, he's plugged into the damn thing. It is an ancient machine, with Kronos living at its heart. There are four realms in Oblivion, Jen. Two aligned with order and two with chaos. Each realm has its own natural balance, eternally generating the right levels of primal energy, which is drawn into the Nexus and fed through Kronos to Arella and Abaddon. Follow me, Jen. It's no good. I'm gonna have to ask. Scree! Questions, questions again. And if there's something I'd want you to ask, you never do. What, please? These symbols. Ah. I presume you have noticed this. Indeed, there is a remarkable similarity. They are identical, you lunk. Lewis drew the design for me just after we met. How come the symbol's all over the place here? I simply can't tell you. Can't or won't? It's branded on you, Jen, not me. I don't know everything. It's not branded, it's just a tattoo, goddammit. Lewis told me it was a ancient rune of protection. I just thought it looked cool. Where did Lewis see this symbol? It's very important. He wouldn't tell me. Oh, forget it. Everything else going on, that ain't gonna freak me out. Come on, little guy.
Where are we now? We have entered the kingdom of Solom. Time stands still in the four realms connected to the Nexus. In this realm, it is eternal night. And let me guess. Uh, eternal winter? By nature, Solom is bleak of climate, but nothing too harsh for its people. The Ferai are strong and resourceful hunters. You say hunters? The worlds of Oblivion are each inhabited by a different race, and yes, the Ferai are fierce, sometimes brutal, but they are fundamentally good. You're going to meet a lot worse, I assure you. Solomon and its people have always been aligned with order, providing my Lady Arella with power. But now things have gotten screwed up, right? Uh, yes, thanks to Abaddon's villainy. His interference in the realms is drawing all the primal energy to his side and starving my lady of her very existence. In truth, neither side can survive without the other, and soon everything will be destroyed. So the guy's trashing the status quo, creating chaos. Guess he's doing his job. And we must do ours, so just listen. Oops. I'm sorry. You must forgive me for that, Jen. So much more will become clear to you, child, but we've so little time. Hey, look, don't sweat it. I'm fine. So what's to be done here? Let's get on with it. Thank you, Jen. Right, now, what we've got to do here, Jen, is... Uh, I haven't the faintest idea. But I do know Solemn has been tainted by chaos somehow, and we have to restore the natural order. I told you the Ferai are violent, but they live as a basically peaceful clan with rituals and art, for example, a structured society. The one crucial thing for the race is their king. In Solom, the king has huge authority, awesome strength, but he must, without fail, sacrifice himself at the height of his power and pass the throne to his heir. Gruesome. That did not sound too friendly. Let's find another way around. You hear those growls scree? That sounds like Malkai. They're primitive, territorial beasts. Huge teeth, fearsome claws, fond of the dark. Well, that's it. We ain't moving. Oh, no. I suspect they'd only be interested in devouring you. Oh, great. I doubt they'd find me too palatable. Sure. You don't look particularly tasty. Malkai are afraid of fire. I'll scout ahead, see if I can find anything. I'll stay here until you get back. 